In today's video, we are going to be ranking the best programming languages to the worst programming languages out there. And you might be asking through what very objective measure are we going to be measuring how good and how bad a programming language is? Well, it's just based on my opinion and on my YouTube channel, my opinion rules. So this is totally not scientific, purely for entertainment purposes only. But if I diss your favorite programming language, I give you full permission to roast me as hard as you want to. So please do not be worried. I have thick skin. I can handle it. Let me have it. And without further ado, let us start ranking the programming languages from the best to the worst. Let's go. All right, so starting off, we're gonna be going with C. I programmed in C one time. Did I like it? Not really. Honestly, I kind of hated it. Palette, memory allocation, um, low level language, not for me. So I really, really hated using it. Pointers, also not my favorite thing in the world, but I cannot deny how influential C is as a language. It has given birth to so many wonderful languages out there. C sharp, well, less so C sharp, but C++ and C++ plus is almost like the predecessor of Swift, which is a beautiful language that I love so much. Even though I didn't love C, I'm going to put it as an A tier language. Once again, not because I love it, not because I program in it all the time. I've only done it for like three months in a college class that I took, but because of its influence in the programming world. C walked so so many other languages could run. Now let's get over to C++. Honestly, I have not had that much exposure to it. I can't be too critical of it. The little bit that I did uh, code in C++, it was back at my time at Google. I wrote maybe 15 lines of code. You can say I'm, uh, I'm going to put that down on my resume as advanced C++ programmer. I see all of you out there. You don't know how to use Excel at all, but you still put it as some software you're proficient in. I see you. I see you. I'm doing the same thing with C++. But for that reason, you know, C++, I'll give it a B tier language. It's nice. It's low level, highly performant, great language. I just haven't really used it too much. And it still has a lot of like the malloc, calic, pointer stuff. Well, maybe it doesn't have malloc and calic, but it has pointers in it at least. And I'm not a fan of having to uh, manage all of that stuff. It's really annoying. Super low level stuff is not really for me. C sharp, you know, people are going to flame me for this. I'm bracing myself for the comments who are out to roast me and going to get upset at me for this one. Putting it as a C tier language. I did it. I'm not a Microsoft user. I'm not a Windows user. And I believe, don't quote me, I'm not an expert, but C Sharp is more of like in the Microsoft Windows land. I'm a Mac boy. Don't get me wrong. I was a Windows user for 19 years of my life. Then I switched over to Mac and I'm never leaving. I love being in the Mac world. And with that reason, putting C Sharp in the C tier, I'm sorry. I know I'm going to get flamed. I'm going to get roasted. I'm ready for it. Roast me in the comments down below. Okay, now moving on over to Dart. I think Dart, underrated language, very underrated. It's used primarily in Flutter. I don't know any other thing that it supports other than Flutter. That's where I've used it. I didn't hate it. I kind of like it. It reminds me of JavaScript, which I don't want to give spoilers, but I do like JavaScript. It's like a very type safe JavaScript. And I, I really like how there are so many good helper methods, particularly with like the collections, like the lists and the arrays. There's like a dot first function or like a dot last element uh, property as well. I find those little helper methods super nice. And honestly, I kind of like how opinionated it is. Kind of forces you to write good, well-styled code. I'm going to give it a B tier language just because Flutter is okay. Angular is a little less than okay. I still like it though. I think it's a great language. Go. I'm going to be honest. I've used very little Go, but I hear lots of great things about it. Very performant, very low level language. And I also like how it's opinionated. It forced, it's like, it has a very strict sense of styling when you write the code. And I love it because if you give me too much free reign, I'm going to write disgusting code. You don't want disgusting code. And Go, I think puts up a lot of barriers in the way to make sure that you do not end up writing disgusting code. So I'm going to put in the B tier. I, I like Go. I haven't had too much exposure to it, but I'm gonna put it there. HTML, oh God. I'm gonna put it in the C tier actually. HTML kind of blows. Don't really like using it, but it's a necessary evil to build any website. So it is what it is. All right, Java. Oh, Java. For legacy purposes, it's it's going in the B tier. It's ugly, it's heavy, it's clunky, but it's always there for you. It's been there in the past for you and it'll be there in the future for you. Java was the very first programming language that I actually did my programming interviews in. Nowadays, I do them all in Python, even though I've never, interestingly enough, written Python Python in like a production environment. I still do all of my coding and still do all of my coding interviews in Python. So it is what it is. But Java, look, it's so verbose. It's not succinct. It's very wordy. It feels heavy to use it, but it's all reliable, man. You can't really be upset at it. Aside from the fact that Oracle, like the creator, the parent company of Java kind of blows. I'm gonna put it at the B tier. It's a good language. All right, JavaScript. Oh boy, people are gonna be upset at me for this one. We're going A tier. JavaScript is an, oh, it's an amazing language. I love it. You can literally build anything you want. You can build a mobile app, you can build a website. I'm sure you can do game development on it as well. JavaScript developer ecosystem, like the internet runs on JavaScript. How can, how can you hate JavaScript? I know it's not perfect. It's not type safe. I understand that. That's why TypeScript exists. It's not a very strict language. I understand that. There's some performance issues. I understand that. But I still love JavaScript because you can literally build anything in the world. Because of that, I'm going to skip the line. I'm going to go over to TypeScript. I'm going to 
up with my first S tier language TypeScript. Bam, I know. Roast me in the comments. People are upset. People are sweating right now. The fact that I just put a TypeScript as an S tier language, but it is what it is. All right, Kotlin, it's it's good. I'm gonna put it as an A tier language. It's like super, it's like Java on steroids. Great language. You build awesome Android apps. Honestly, probably the best way to build any Android apps out there. Also, the name is just good. Kotlin, phenomenal name. Also that logo, that's, that's an S tier logo, but then I'm just gonna put it as an A tier language overall. Kotlin, phenomenal language. Java on steroids, can't recommend it enough. MATLAB, you're a D tier language. I hate MATLAB. I don't wanna be mean, but MATLAB sucks. I've used it a little bit before, hate it. I'd rather use Python if I'm trying to do any number crunching. You know, give me a NumPy, give me a Pandas. I'm not gonna use MATLAB, get that out of my face. PHP, dude, honestly, I think PHP is having a resurgence lately. I've actually never written a single line of PHP. It's a popping language. People, big name people like Peter Levels on Twitter are, are using PHP. I feel like so much PHP is coming back in vogue right now. We're gonna make it a B tier language. PHP, I wanna use you one day. One day I wanna use Laravel, Laravel, whatever whatever the pronunciation is. PHP is a good language. I think we gotta give it some love. Python, A tier language, same problems as JavaScript in that it's not strongly typed. It's like too loosey goosey. I think the fact that all of the, there's no like brackets and all of the, the code block separating is all like done with tabs. That's a little risky, you know, but if you're crazy like that, you like it, you like to go raw like that, you can go with Python. I still love the language. Like I mentioned, it's my go-to programming language. We're gonna keep it at the A tier. R, you're in the same tier as MATLAB. I don't even look at me, bro. All right, moving on to Ruby. I've used Ruby at my current day job. It's like good in theory because Ruby, it has like these nice little programming shortcuts to help you save time. But it's like, it's like if you know, you know, like if you know all these tips and tricks, it could be kind of useful, kind of handy. But I don't know, man. It's not a language that comes really naturally to me, but I also don't hate it. I'm gonna be a B tier, B tier language. Ruby's good. I, I think it doesn't get as much love. People say it's a little outdated. It might be, it is what it is. Honestly, you don't even know what this language is. Is this Rust? Is this Rust's old logo? If so, I'm gonna give it a C tier. If it is Rust, I could be totally wrong. But if it is Rust, I'm gonna give it a C tier, not because it's the, but just because like the Rust Foundation has done some shady things in recent times and I'm gonna demote them and punish them for that. SQL, I love SQL. I'm a relational database guy all day, every day. I love it so much. Join tables, left join, right join, all day. I love SQL so much. Swift, it's an A tier language. Hear me out. If you try Swift, you're gonna like it. It's so simple, so succinct. It's a pretty language to look at. Xcode is just a bit of pain in the ass to use every now and then, but I love Swift. And actually, funny enough, if you watch the Arc browser series, like the website browser, they actually document the entire series on YouTube. They actually say that they're right Writing Arc browser for Windows with Swift, which is crazy. I am a technical noob. I don't know how to do that. That's an insane thing to do, but phenomenal language. People say you can only build iOS, Mac, OS apps. Bro, they're building Arc browser in Swift. How do you even do that? That's crazy. Last but not least, bb.net, easier language. Do I need to say more? 